Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we're bringing you another Lightboard lesson. And today we're going to talk about DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service Attacks, and specifically a new uh, product that F5 has. It's called the DDoS Hybrid Defender. It's this uh, purpose-built security solution uh, that its goal in life, its only thing that it does is, uh, is defend against DDoS attacks. Uh, but before we get into the specifics of that, I wanted to back up a minute and uh, mention our F5 Labs team, which does a lot of great threat research, um, analysis, that kind of stuff uh, across a lot of different you know, areas of security. And, uh, and they recently wrote a report about a, uh, the hunt for Internet of Things. And, uh, and essentially the, the essence of it is, is that these Internet of Things you know, connected devices, whether it's your refrigerator or your toaster or your smart TV or security camera or whatever it is, um, these things are connected to the internet, and that becomes the Internet of Things, as you all uh, you know may know. But then these things are connected to the internet. They can be used then uh, in a distributed denial of service attack. So, quick little uh, picture here that I'll draw. Let's say you have your awesome uh, web application out here doing great things, and people visit it all the time, and you want those people to visit. But then you've got all these different IoT devices. You know, you've got, uh, I'm just going to put some little boxes here, um, you know, whatever it is. It's, uh, I'll just put, you know, the, the IoT, the Internet of Things. And then if you have a lot of these Internet of Thing devices that are connected, uh, you can start to form um, a botnet. So I'll say, you know, bot. So what, what our research team has actually uh, uh, called this is a thing bot. So it's like the Internet of Things uh, connected together to make a botnet. So it's this IoT botnet type thing. Um, so then these things can start to denial of service attack your web application. Uh, and certainly that's not the only thing that can create a denial of service attack, but that is a huge, um, I don't know, a, a huge source of denial of service attacks these days uh, are these Internet of Things uh, connected devices. Uh, so, but regardless, whether it's a IoT bot that's, you know, attacking your web application or if it's some other, you know, uh, nation state actors or some other, you know, attacker group or whatever it is, uh, the point is that if you have any kind of web application out there, you are susceptible to a DDoS attack, this distributed denial of service attack. So, with that in mind, uh, F5 has created, like I mentioned before, um, this purpose-built security solution called the DDoS Hybrid Defender. So I'll just uh, write that up here, DDoS Hybrid Defender. Defender, all right. Sometimes we call it DHD, all right. So the DDoS Hybrid Defender. Uh, and I wanted to go over a couple of things that this, that this thing does, that this can do for you to help you uh, you know, protect against a DDoS attack, which by the way, this thing is available on several different platforms. Uh, a lot of our i-series platforms, uh, as well as Viprion 4000 series, uh, high performance VE. So you can, you can deploy this thing in a number of different uh, platforms, um, but nonetheless, it's out there. So it has, uh, it has several key components that I wanted to go over. Uh, the first one I'll mention is layer four protection layer four uh, DDoS protection. And what this does is it has a, um, a protection against things like flood attacks, whether it's UDP floods or uh, SIN floods or TCP floods, or maybe even like ICMP floods, um, you know, that, that type of uh, flood protection that it, would look, uh, that it would look at. Protocol attack detection, um, so if maybe, maybe an attacker is doing something weird with like the TCP protocol, for example, um, it's going to look at things, you know, at that layer to say, hey, is there something weird going on at, uh, you know, that network layer, transport layer type, uh, you know, type of attack. Um, so it's going to give some very uh, um, comprehensive layer, layer four, layer three, you know, uh, looks at all of the traffic and detect, um, you know, DDoS attacks at that layer. Uh, another one is layer seven um, DDoS protection. So I'll just write the same thing, DDoS protection at layer seven. So this is the, uh, and, and I'll even include a little bit of layer six because I'm going to talk about SSL. 
Um, so speaking of SSL, it's uh, purpose-built SSL decryption, uh, which F5 is probably the best out there at, uh, at SSL decryption, TLS SSL decryption. Um, but essentially what it does is as, uh, as requests come in to access your web application, DDoS Hybrid Defender catches those, they decrypt in, in real time and can inspect the traffic. As you probably know, uh, our big IP is a full proxy architecture where we uh, take the connection and completely tear it down and then rebuild it back up so we can look at every single part and piece of that thing and do a full packet inspection before we send it on back to your web application. So, uh, so there's a lot of power in what we can do um, you know, uh, from a DDoS uh, visibility perspective. Uh, so anyway, but the SSL decryption is huge because as, as a, a potential attack comes in, if it's all encrypted and you can't tell what's going on inside there, uh, then we need to know about that, especially at the layer seven level uh, because it may look like a legitimate, say, HTTP request, uh, but as it turns out, maybe it's a, you know, it, it's this malicious thing going on. But we need to be able to decrypt it to be able to see that. Um, there is uh, anomaly detection, behavioral analysis that goes on at this layer uh, that uh, that the uh, hybrid defender starts to learn. You know, the behavior of typical web application traffic and typical client activity that would uh, access your web application. So it starts to learn those types of things as well. Um, proactive bot defense is available here. Uh, this is really cool because um, we, can, we can essentially take uh, client activity and say, hey, let's get in front of that and start to proactively detect if the client is a bot or not. And so if you can shut that down before the, the what would have been a bot or what, what, what is a bot, let's say, uh, starts to doing starts to do crazy bot things, and we can shut that down proactively before it creates a lot of problems. Uh, another really cool one that I'll mention here is device fingerprinting, and this is this is super cool because let's say you have devices out there, and you can have two identical devices. Let's say you have two laptops, both running the same operating system, both you know using the exact same internet browser, that kind of thing. The truth is, those are two different machines, but they're configured exactly the same. Let's say. Well, what the DDoS Hybrid Defender can do is inject, um, you know, maybe some JavaScript or some some sort of a challenge back to those uh, two client devices, and have them do something. Maybe, maybe calculate a, a short little, you know, math problem or whatever it is. And then once they do that, they send it back in. They you know respond to the challenge. Well, then based on the response to that challenge, the DDoS Hybrid Defender can say, Hey, now I know exactly what device that is and exactly what device that is. So that, um, so that if either one of these devices were to try to attack later on and maybe change their IP address or change some other thing, but they're still on the exact same hardware you know, platform, uh, we can still track that same hardware platform. Really, really cool stuff. So we can, we can, in effect, fingerprint every device that we come in contact with so we can start to learn which one is good and which one's bad. Really, really powerful stuff. Um, another thing that I'll uh, mention is behavioral DOS. So let me write that up here. Behavioral DOS. DOS. Um, and this is uh, and behavioral DOS protection. That's not a very good S, by the way. Anyway, DOS. Behavioral DOS protection. This is where we start to baseline the network um, and the application performance <clears throat> of your web application. And, uh, and as the DDoS Hybrid Defender starts to learn, hey, this is the typical network traffic, this is typical client behavior into your web application, um, then we can start to, then it can start to set uh, threshold, application thresholds uh, or traffic thresholds to say, hey, these are the normal bounds of what's going on. And if anything happens outside of that, um, then we can automatically block that, uh, that behavior. Um, so that's a really, really powerful thing, and it can do that automatically. It can set up like custom um, signatures uh, as it starts to learn, again, the, uh, the typical normal behavior of your web application traffic, um, and then anything that falls outside of that, it can block it. So, uh, so really, uh, really powerful stuff. Um, another thing that I'll put is a, uh, this, uh, this custom interface. So custom interface. 
And this basically is the, the graphical user interface, the GUI, the, you know, the thing that you look at, the, the big dashboard there that you log into. And it's really cool. Um, without going into the details of every single part of it, you can just you can see all this stuff happening. You know, uh, all the traffic coming into your web application, all the statistics, and all the reporting, and all the logging, and all that stuff. You can you can see this really cool graphical overview and snapshot of what's going on with your web application. So there's a there's a really cool interface that you have into all of this. Um, another one that I'll put is IP intelligence. IP Intelligence. This is a really cool one. It's basically a threat feed um, that is updated every single day of IP addresses that are known bad IP addresses or bad actor IP addresses. And it's, this is all over the world. So we're, we're kind of connected to several other uh, cool security um, people out there in the world, as it were. And we keep a good track of, hey, this IP address over here has been doing bad things to this customer and then we find out about it from our friends and partners and all that, or we find out about it based on our own uh, research or our own analysis, and then we can share it out with our, with our people as well. But nonetheless, uh, there's a lot of people looking for these bad actors and these IP addresses that the bad actors use. So you can imagine it, uh, it, you know, it culminates in this threat feed or this feed of IP addresses that are like, hey, these are bad IP addresses. And that's, like I said, it gets updated every single day. We can build that right into the DDoS Hyper Defender. If any one of those tries to access your web application, we just shut it down immediately. So that's a really powerful thing as well. Um, the last thing I'll, I'll put down here is cloud signaling. Cloud signaling. All right, so we have this thing called Silverline. And Silverline is, our, uh, is, a, is a security service that F5 offers, and it has... Uh, many things, but one of those is a DDoS cloud scrubbing service. Uh, so the, uh, as, as DDoS traffic comes into your web application, as you start to endure a DDoS attack, the DDoS Hybrid Defender, of course, can recognize that. And as appropriate, it can signal back to the Silverline. If you're a Silverline customer, it can, sig it can signal to Silverline to say, hey, uh, this customer is under active DDoS attack you need to start routing traffic through your cloud-based DDoS scrubbers and, uh, you know, and block a lot of this out at that cloud-based scrubber uh, before you, know, you ever let any other traffic come into the web application. So, uh, so it kind of you know, cuts it off uh, further away from your web application or you know, as far away as possible. And it's a, it's a powerful thing. So again, the, the DDoS Hybrid Defender can talk to the Silverline service and let it know uh, what's going on with respect to your web application. So, uh, so anyway, so those are, those are a few key parts of our DDoS Hybrid Defender. And again, um, whether it is an Internet of Thing, you know, botnet attack coming at your web application, or if it's a sophisticated actor who has, you know, uh, put together their resources to try to attack you with a DDoS attack, or whatever it is, uh, the point is, if, uh, if you are, you know, certainly if you're like an enterprise level, uh, you know, organization or like a service provider, that kind of thing, you are, you are going to be the target of a DDoS attack. So whether you've already had it in the past or you are yet to uh, see a DDoS attack, they are, they are so readily available and so prevalent in the world today that you, it, 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 is, it is very, very wise to be, uh, you know, to be in a position where you can defend yourself against uh, something like that, because again, it's it's uh, it, it's a matter of time, you know, frankly, before you get attacked. So uh, so make sure you defend yourself well, and uh, and again, we wanted to make sure you knew about this DDoS Hybrid Defender product. It's a like I said, it's a uh, it's a custom built uh, security solution here that F5 has. It's uh, that's completely targeted to DDoS protection. So uh, so hopefully you've learned a few things about the DDoS Hybrid Defender today. Hey, if you like this video. Uh, click on the little DC ball here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you guys out there in the community.